Welcome back everyone. You're watching Crichton Pet Services channel dedicated to dogs and everything we love about them. I'm Stephen Crichton and you join us on Thursday the 8th of December in Edinburgh on what is the first snow of the year or certainly the first snow of this season. I'm sure it snowed earlier in the year. And uh, apologies, I've been away for a little bit. You can probably hear in my nose. I have been really ill. If you're in the UK and you're not currently suffering with that terrible barking cough or dreaded sort of flu, cold, COVID, whatever it is, then you are very lucky. Our household has had both and let me tell you, it has wiped us out. You can maybe even hear it in my voice just now. I'm like, ah. Anyway, it's good to be back. It's lovely to see you guys again. And stay with us because on this snowy day we are having amazing fun. Stay with us for watching the dogs run around crazy as they always do, but under control. And in addition to that, me pulling off my favourite stunt that I do every time that it snows. It's quite good, it's worth hanging around for. I'll be back at the end to wrap up our day. Until then, I'm handing you over to these guys. Nell! You know me! Nell's got relax. Hi! Nice of you to join us. How are we all? How's everyone doing? <laughs> Charlie! These guys are sussing each other out. What's going on with you two today? Charlie, Otis. Otis, that's this good boy. Uh huh. You two are going to have to learn to work together. Help us, sit nice. Yes. The crows are quite desperate because they can't get any worms. So, I'll give them one or two of these and uh, I'll keep them happy. They attack me if I don't feed them, do you know that? <laughs> Shush! Adrian. You get a stuff here, I know what you want. All right, I'm hoping this is going to work. We've got all you guys here. <laughs> We've done this before. Come on, then, guys. Come on. Good, you guys. Okay, there is actually a steeper bit coming up. Are we going to try this as well? Come on, then. Charlie, watch out, buddy. <laughs> that is revitalizing. Come on, sweetie. Let's see. Oh, I really wasn't sure about that. Good, you guys. Are your paws getting cold? Come on, then. Come on, then. Where's that Charlie? Why are you behind us, buddy? 
All right, guys, I don't know if you can see me or hear me here just now, but we're just stopping because some of the dogs are starting to get snow clumped up on the back of their legs. Now, you've got an interesting decision here. If you start to take it off, you effectively have to melt it off with the heat of your hand. And uh, that's fine, that'll get it off in, in a couple of seconds for each dog, especially if it's not currently snowing. But the problem you have there is that what is left behind is some kind of like damp or uh, wet conditions, which then the snow, this the soft snow, sticks to and freezes to again. So you actually make the problem, can make it worse. Uh, so sometimes there's a bit of a, an argument to leave it or to leave it as long as you can before you start doing it because once you start doing it you're going to have to do it every few minutes and with seven dogs that's going to be a bit of a problem for us so uh, there's a few of the dogs here Tosca is licking her paws just now trying to get bits off I'm going to declump the worst of them and uh, see how we get on but this could mean the end of our walk just now because it can be, especially under the pad, it can be uncomfortable for them to walk on. One for the dogs, one for the dogs, one for the crows. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight crows, seven dogs. Have I brought enough treats? Have I brought enough treats? All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's great to be back. We've got most of the dogs on the lead just now and uh, we're almost back at the van. So uh, just a few moments to say thank you. And uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed making this again. I feel uh, much better than I've done in the last couple of weeks anyway, that's for sure. So hopefully you haven't missed us too much. No, hopefully you have missed us and uh, you're enjoying watching this. If you, if your dog is currently coated and uh, suffers from this, the clumping snow thing, let me know how you're dealing with that at home. One bit of advice would be uh, when you take it off, do it very gradually and uh, don't use anything like hot water or anything like that god um, dogs paws are really sensitive so just be very careful around how you get that off I'm gonna let the dogs thaw out in the van the cold van and uh, when they get to their respective homes I'm gonna towel them off at that point point. Um, the only other thing I've got to say is a little trick someone once told me that baby oil on their legs is a great way to stop it clumping but I tried it, it didn't work, so I need you guys to tell me your top tips. Anyway, until the next time, take care, bye bye.